Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So this week, we are taking a look at this Borg Scouting Spear. Now, this one has been created by my lord, and it is fully constructed of a small ship. So it's another one of them ships that is a little bit of an illusion in scale. It actually looks quite large compared to the planet next to it, but if I spawn in my character right in front of it, like so... You can see that the small block armor is, is still quite a massive ship to be fair, for, especially for a small ship caliber. And you know how I always enjoy when someone goes through the maths of working out how to create a sphere in Space Engineers. So that's exactly what we've got here. We have the tractor beam up at the front here. You've got this beautiful little cowling around it. You've got the green glow created by the spotlights that have been nicely tucked around into the center. There's a lot of smoothing that's gone into this and there's a lot of calculation and you've, that's what you really got to understand about this design so you can see how the actual sphere opens up into that circle compartment there and then it wraps around the side using the angled blocks and you can see the way that they've made the shape a little bit more smoother here is they've just used them sort of chopped up squares where you can insert another little rectangle into them and you can see the green lights been inserted in there just to add a little bit of a glow now what i think is really cool about these is if you had a pack of them so let me just um, move a few possibly together if my game will allow it. So let's move that and use these as some sort of scary type scouting force like the Borg would do so. These sort of ships are used as a bit of an auxiliary ship from the actual cubes themselves. And I just really like the shape and the overall simplicity of them. They're just a simple yet very interesting type design. Let's get inside it. Now, when I was having a look around before, I couldn't actually find myself an access port into it. So it means we may have to teleport in there to have a look at the goodness that is inside. Now, as we enter through the tractor beam, you can see we've got reactors here exposed. This is more of a design element. And we actually have the central sort of hub in here in the middle itself. So you can look, there's quite a lot of detail going on in here. We'll turn the light on so you can see. Just look at the complex nature of that sort of cube or cube sphere it's, it is fantastic and the effort that's gone into this just really can't be overmatched so you can see up here we have the pillar that's connecting to the top section you see that shafts down you can see these various connecting points that have been added and just detailed really nicely and since it is a bog ship the interior is very simple because these guys don't really care too much about the sort of basic amenities you've just got themselves some chairs here that they can walk around on as well as a cryo bay for storage and what's really cool here is we have some sort of writing that is going across there that only a bog would would understand so let's um, head over to the other platform on the other side so you can see there could be room for a little bit more inside these ships but from what i can tell is there's not too much written information of exactly how these ships are laid out particularly inside so we've got another med bay over at this side and you can see we've just got access to one of the bog cube we've got a computer panel there as well so we can plan some attacks anyway let's access the cockpit on the other side and give it a little bit of a test spin so we're in control it's not quite centered oh god it feels creepy to drive though so let's get um, our thrust on See if we can actually move this thing in a direction. Inertia dampeners, we don't actually have. So how is this thing actually going to drive around? Oh, it just jumps. Interesting. So the idea of this ship is not necessarily the movement of it like this. It is for it to jump around. So let's hit the cube. So you, instead of flying it like a normal ship, you jump it to the various locations and use it as a bit of a turret. That does look cool, though, doesn't it? There we go, and there we go, we've arrived at the other location. That is a cool concept for a ship. I've never ever thought of building a ship like that, to be honest. Not having any thrusters in it at all, but just jumping it to various locations and then possibly using a very powerful tractor beam to engage enemies from long range. I really do quite like the concept of that. If you had the laser mod on this particular ship, you could use that to greater effect at long distance as well. So let's drop down. Give some funky ideas for ships, this. Right, now we pop back in. Let's just see how, how fast we can actually move between locations. So let's attempt another jump. So you can see the issue is going to be is power. This particular small ship is going to be very power hungry if you jump yourself into a situation. So we need to recharge a jump drive before we can jump again. So my recommendations for this particular ship is maybe it needs either more power or some sort of auxiliary power source so it can charge it almost instantly so you could jump to a location 
and then basically jump away once you've engaged with your laser a little bit faster. Let's have a look at the charge rate, how it's doing. Uh, so let's hit 8 again. So it is charging particularly fast for a jump drive, but still not fast enough to get out of every situation. But if you have got a massive tractor beam on the front, I'm sure that you could simply lay waste in many of the ships that people are going to come up against you in Space Engineers. Anyway, it was particularly quite a quick little spotlight for this ship. I just felt that the shape of it and the calculations that went into it would make it a really worthy contender. Anyway, let me know what you think of this ship in the description, and especially what you think of the no thrusters but just jump drives concept that it likes to use. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.